Hello, West Hampton family. I hope you're doing well. This is Pastor Christy on this holy Saturday. Today is sometimes considered the darkest of days in the church year because it's the day after Jesus dies, but the day before we celebrate his resurrection. I hope that you've been able to participate in our Holy Week journey. Despite the fact that we've been unable to gather together in person due to the coronavirus stay at home guidelines. Each day we've been sharing a devotion from the Upper Rooms Disciplines from the year 2020. Today's message is based on Lamentations chapter 3 verses 1 through 9 and 19 through 24 if you'd like to read that passage in your own Bible. Think of the description of the deep darkness that we sometimes in, encounter and experience in life. It's a reminder of the darkness of the world that existed between Jesus's death and his resurrection. The devotion for Holy Saturday is as follows. In the aftermath of Babylon's siege on Jerusalem, Jeremiah momentarily loses hope. We hear his devastation as he recounts the horrific destruction and loss of life. Perhaps even worse, though, the prophet says that when he cries out in prayer, God does not hear his pleas. But a tiny ray of hope breaks through the stone-cold silence. As Jeremiah reflects on his suffering, he remembers something he learned in better times. God's steadfast love and mercies never cease. When we have eyes to see them, evidence of those tender mercies appear to us every day. Slowly, the prophet turns from his litany of misery to praise God. Great is your faithfulness, he declares, marking a turning point in his spiritual experience. We may find ourselves in a state of darkness without any light. Our distress is searingly real, yet we cannot find any comfort from scripture or prayer or from others. Why do we suffer so when God could make it right? Doubt begins to creep in. But as with Jeremiah, a miracle happens. As awful as things are for us, we discover new mercies. We are still alive. Each breath we take is evidence of God's goodness to us. Our sorrow has meaning. It humbles us and teaches us to depend on God rather than on the things of the world. Even in our own brokenheartedness, we begin to find hope. Every day brings its own trouble, but it also brings its mercies. We are alive. We have not died. We may have been through hell, but we have not been destroyed by it. God allows grief, which serves a merciful purpose, if we trust God. Let us pray. O oh God, as Jeremiah lost hope, at times we are tempted to do the same. Forgive us and restore our spirit in the light of your never-ending mercies. Amen. In the midst of this pandemic, things can seem pretty dark. It's as if we're in a dark room searching for an exit, but there isn't any light to guide us. But we know that Jesus is our light and comes to us as the resurrected Christ on Easter. If you are participating in our scavenger hunt, today's clue reference from scripture is from Lamentations chapter 3, verse 2. He has driven and brought me into darkness without any light. 
And so the other clue is that this item is a helpful tool to use in the darkness, especially when the power goes out. What am I? Be sure to share a picture on our daily Facebook post if you're on social media once your item has been found. And also be sure to reflect on these questions. What is the darkness you're experiencing today? And where is Jesus shining a light in your life? What blessings are you thankful for even in the midst of the darkness? And how do these blessings represent light to you? And our final question for reflection, what songs can you think of that describe the light of Jesus? Sing and reflect on their words. Feel free to use these questions to guide your discussion in your family or to journal about or reflect on. Be sure to join tonight's Zoom call um, anytime between 6 o'clock and 7 o'clock. You can feel free to hop on anytime during that hour and we will connect and check in and discuss our devotion for today. We look forward to connecting with you.